Cheers! It's August 2023 and we just got back from Cancun, Mexico. More specifically, Playa Mujeres and we stayed at the Excellence Playa Mujeres Resort and we want to tell you all about it because it was awesome. Yeah, it definitely was a great trip, all-inclusive resort and adults only, mm -hmm. which is great. Now I will say, it could be hit or miss if you go to an all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. This was absolutely home run, hit it out of the park. Five stars. This one did all the research, give them credit for that because again, it was 100% an experience. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm so glad I looked at the reviews, but out of thousands of reviews on Google and yep. TripAdvisor, I mean, the reviews really spoke true and it was a five star experience all the way. Definitely. Now we're gonna start the video off, we're gonna go through and tell you all about the resort, show you the room, some of the experiences that we show had. Show you everything, the food, the rooms, the pool, the beach. Absolutely. Now, we're gonna start off getting to Cancun. We didn't film much of the airport experience and such, we didn't wanna take up much of your time with that. And again, sometimes getting through the Cancun airport, just getting through customs and stuff, could be a little cumbersome, so we yeah. just wanna get right to the good stuff. Yeah, and honestly, shout out to the resort because they set you up with transportation through Seasons Tours, and it was yeah. so easy yeah, finding definitely. the transportation. We literally walked out of the airport exit, yep. found the number pavilion they told us to look for, saw the person with the Seasons Tours and the Excellence Playa Mujeres sign, and we got in Done. the car and went right to yep. the resort. It was super easy. Yeah. So shout out to Excellence. Absolutely. Shout out to Seasons on the transportation. Absolutely. Because I think that was my only anxiety was like, oh, just trying to find the car. Because again, there was a lot of people. But yeah. I mean, super easy. I super mean, easy so process. convenient. So enough of that being said, we'll jump right into uh, what the experience was all about. Absolutely. So once we got into the Seasons transportation vehicle, we took a quick 35 minute ride north of the airport and honestly the grounds were just beautiful once we got there again this is not in the hotel zone this is in a separate private gated beach called Playa Mujeres and this resort is as its name excellent it's nice it's in North Cancun actually yeah North Cancun so when you get there obviously you're greeted by a beautiful entrance and these doors the marble entryway open to a really cool air conditioned lobby yeah, it's nice. and you're greeted with champagne and you check in overlooking this beautiful bar here as well that you'll see here in a second they really make you feel welcome again it's like an experience you almost feel like you're arriving let's just say a fantasy island i mean for, kind of yeah you know, but you can see there that's, that's a beautiful the main bar. martini bar uh down there at the center yeah it's really really neat all right, so this is the walk to the room, not a far walk. And this is another great thing about the Excellence Resort is that a lot of resorts in Cancun, if you've been there, you're familiar with, you have to take a golf cart or some kind of transportation around the resort. This is a medium sized resort and you can walk end to end in no time. So this was the room that we got and this was the Excellence Club Junior Suite, two story suite. And let me tell you, this was well worth it the purchase it's beautiful the room was so great as you can see they had a bottle of champagne waiting for us a little cake there the hot tub look at that view from now this is just the first floor this is just the first floor they had do dual sinks a great size shower separate toilet area but this little seating area with the jacuzzi and the daybed overlooking the pool and the beach is really just gorgeous it's nice for like in the morning having your coffee down there what Mosa, have you whatever you know you're on vacation and that's just an overall look of the room there as you can see it was very spacious plenty of room for us yeah but the best part of this suite here was go. the second level honestly the view and the amenities up here so this was so convenient to have your own plunge pool in your room. I mean, when the pool got busy down there, you couldn't find a spot on the beach. It was so great to have this on your room, your second level, and to just jump in and cool off. Yeah, it's really convenient. And again, I mean, look at the view. Sitting in that plunge pool, putting those little overflow jets on, standing under there. Yeah, just... with day bed, two day beds up here. Oh my so, gosh, and, just taking again, it in. Again, look at this view. You could see the beach. You could see the pool bar over to the right. You could see this other bar. Now, this this resort had so many pools, so many bars. Uh, this is two of the pools. These are two separate pools. I think it had four pools, three pools for the Excellence Club. Look at this entertainment area as well. This is where we'll some show of the more shows of that went too. on Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But it was a long travel day, so we decided that we were just going to walk the resort a little bit, get a little bit of video, and we decided we were going to go to the Indian restaurant that they had that night for dinner. Yeah, so over here, there's the Indian restaurant and the Mexican restaurant they have, and we decided to do Basmati, which was the Indian restaurant. This is one of 10 restaurants. There are 12 bars, and again, this resort is not one that you have to take a golf cart back and forth uh, to side to side. It's literally something you can walk um, in just minutes. Yeah, it's really convenient. And like, this was one of the restaurants that was definitely hitting 
The food was yes. really, really good here. The food was great at this restaurant, Basmati. Now, the reviews said that the food was hit or miss, um, and this was one of the hits for sure. So after a long day, we just kind of settled in and looked at the beautiful lights that the resort gave off at night. I mean, look at that. That's relaxing. Of course, the next morning we got up, took a little walk down to the beach. We did sleep in a little bit because we were a little tired. Yeah. Uh, we didn't catch the sun rise that day, but... We did catch it before we left, and we'll show that here later. Now, look at the white sand on this beach. One thing I also loved about this beach and the area of the beach in this resort was that they take one of those tractors and clean up all of the seaweed. So there was lots of white sand for you to walk across every morning and afternoon. Yep. And then we just kind of walked around the resort. So our little friend here, Mr. Hey, Iguana, you know, <laughs> hey, how Iguana. are you? He was just chilling on the bed. But yeah, we took a little bit of time to just kind of... Walk around the resort, get ourselves familiar with where things were. Now, this resort has a coffee shop in it, Aroma, which you can get coffee in the morning, gelato at night. They've got they little fresh, grab and go uh, sandwiches. Yeah, they have fresh juice. Fresh I mean, anything juice, you could want fresh at fruit, home. Fresh pastries. It's there. Speaking of fresh fruit, there was uh, a amenity with the Excellence Club room that every morning they would bring you fresh fruit and champagne to your room, along with a little plate of pastries that are wrapped in the napkin there. So there was a little cubby hole in the room that they just could leave food and drink for you um, or you could leave your your dirty plates and they would come and take and leave without disturbing you so oh this was goodness. one of the mornings that we had uh, <laughs> the pastries the fruit and the champagne overlooking the pool and the beach yeah, it's really so nice and that champagne right there spot on too very good from spain this was the all-inclusive champagne the champagne that was included in the package and it was great it was from spain um it was very very wonderful so this is our second day and after we had our breakfast we checked out the breakfast spot that they did have there. We were with some friends, and they were having breakfast there, so we met them there for breakfast. And after that, we headed off to our first adventure of the trip. Yeah, so on Sunday, we rented a catamaran. And again, shout out to Seasons Tours. Not only did they set up the transportation, but we told the resort we wanted to book a catamaran excursion and again seasons set it up we had a great crew we had a captain we had a bartender we had another uh, second mate and it was a 16 person catamaran with just the four of us us and two of our friends and i mean look at the water i mean, I mean it was beautiful i mean the experience alone and they said since it was just the four of us they were going to take us around. They took us to this little shipwreck area here. And I mean, first of all, off. look at how blue the water is and how clear it is. Not only yep. is it blue, but look at how see-through it is. I mean, I remember when we went in the water, I put the goggles on. It was like it was like a virtual reality. I could see all the fish like just pop up. Yeah, it's pretty wild because, again, you're not used to seeing that here. And there's John Yeah, look at the that. Ocean, there's a... This was a top sea creature. notch. <laughs> this is a top notch experience. Yeah, it really was. And you can see there was not that bad either. I mean, we, we went to a little bit more populated part of the island they took us to. Uh, but yeah, it was a really great experience. When we got back, we had Italian food that night at yeah, Oregano. This is Oregano, the Italian restaurant. This is the second restaurant we tried. I had the shrimp alfredo. John had the bolognese lasagna. And again, we were just so exhausted from being out on the catamaran all day that... But that was another meal that hit. Yeah, it was really good. But I apologize. We didn't take better pictures of the food. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but this was the next morning what we woke up to. We and, got breakfast uh, yeah. uh, room service. We had a traditional... Um, eggs benedict um we had a hummus and caper bagel we split and then john had a little traditional breakfast as well and we were just able to sit and look at the view and we just kind of wandered around after breakfast we yeah here's some more of the resort off. and the beauty is like you said it's walkable so you don't have to feel bad about eating they had, had a lo- beautiful breakfast but as you can see here they have ping pong tables um the foosball they have these really awesome swings, too, as you can see here, that you can lay over the water. So it was just really relaxing. And uh, when it was really hot in the peak of the day, you know, you were kind of already laying on top of the water. So it was yeah, very cool. I jumped up in one of them. It was a really good fun. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was... It was- this is another one of the pools. This is the juice bar. They have a fresh juice bar um, open during breakfast and lunch where you can go and get fresh fruits and smoothies. So the spa was great. The service was awesome. We checked in. It was really quiet that day when we went, so that was really nice too. Um, I got what was called a Mimosa Bliss Ritual, which was uh, exfoliating body scrub with a massage, essential oils. John got the Ritual for Men, which was a mixture of a massage and a facial. And what's really great about this spa too is before your service, you do this hydrotherapy session, which is about an hour long. You go in the pool here and there's different jets that you use on your body and your muscles and they take you through 
different stages of a sauna, a steam room. There's this bucket where you pour cold water over your head. And then John also got a pedicure. It was so relaxing, so nice. I mean, they really took good care of me. And again, it was clean, friendly service. And then afterwards, we just walked around the resort. Took a walk around, show off my new toes. One of the great things about this resort, too, is the activities. They have different activities every couple hours, every day. They had archery, guacamole class, margarita class. This was the center bar we had drinks at before one of the nights at dinner. And this was the night where we went to the steakhouse it's called the grill the bartenders at this resort are amazing this martini bar here has a whole list of martinis and it's right outside like i said the grill restaurant which is the steakhouse in the resort there's our guy showing off one of the steaks there he was real proud of what he was doing and you can see it's real swanky looking it's a really cool fun steakhouse yeah now this was one of the lesser favorite meals um again not that there was anything wrong with it by any means it was just the fact that you know it was it was just a it was just a steak now the drinks were great the appetizers here were actually better than the, the meals. empanadas were good the squid how'd you like the squid the, the squid was actually really good too but as you can see and the steak kind of looked like it was a little overdone and the ribs were a little under sauce but Again, not nitpicking, but it wasn't one of our favorite meals while we yeah, were there. Yeah, just one of one of our, not one of our favorite meals. The drinks were great, the little dessert was great, but just the overall the meal, not our favorite. And then after that, we just enjoyed the breezy evening atop our second level rooftop. It was really nice. Then we got up in the morning, we kind of poked around. Decided we were going to go visit this swim up bar. So now the that swim was up bar was really cool. This pool we could see from our room and so we could see how busy the swim-up bar was getting and so one of the days we went down there and just thought it wasn't too busy let's pop up in there and it was really cool just to be able to float around the pool have a bar have a drink excuse me just swim to the bar and order whatever you want and this pool goes underneath the lobster house restaurant which is right there which is really cool too you can get a lot of different spots of shade and you can just kind of go around the, the little uh just kind of float around you know, just kind of float around with your drink and enjoy some sun if you get too hot you can scoot off into the shade as you can see there you can sit they have the little concrete stools in the water there we can sit right at the bar and have a drink so just really fun and unique yeah, again it's i loved the pool bar it was such a cool experience yeah it really really was cool now that night we went to dinner at the Asian restaurant called Spice and we booked the hibachi table. Now there's only a select number of tables available every night and this is the only thing you need to make a reservation for at the restaurant. You do not need to make a reservation for any of the restaurants except for if you want the hibachi experience at Spice. And I would definitely suggest make that reservation, make it early because it was a fun experience. And even if you don't have the hibachi, as you can see here, they have great seating. They have, they have just, sushi, they have Thai food, but again, the hibachi experience, if you've been to Benihana's or Kobe's or something like this in another resort, you know how fun this is and how interactive it is. Yeah, it really was. And he put on a good show too, again. He really did. And I'm not being, uh, you know, you never know what to expect, like I said in the beginning. When you're in an all-inclusive, sometimes it could be maybe a little bit campy but this was really fun and interactive and you can tell he was really enjoying himself with us yep and the food here was a hit this was one of the restaurants that the food was really good it was delicious we had steak we had shrimp we had the rice um all the components of a hibachi meal we had the miso soup and the asian uh, ginger salad as well but all in all again delicious experience at spice yeah absolutely and you can tell that the Employees that were having a great time as well. Yep. Oh, here's some of the ginger salad as well. Some of the starter. Yeah, that was really good. And miso, miso soup. soup. Had a lychee martini, which was really great. Yeah, really, really good. He's doing his little tricks here. Typical hibachi tricks. And they also gave us little chicken skewer appetizers. And there he's just serving up some of the rice getting the meal served out this was definitely one of our favorite things at the resort too yeah. he definitely put on a great show yeah, this he guy did. he had a lot of fun as yeah. you can see <laughs> yeah. which is what you want when you go to the resort you know you don't want uh you don't want a bad experience you don't want um you know unengaged employees you want those engaging 
folks that are going to make you have a good time. You can see our food at portions were just spot on as well. The dessert was great. That little dessert was a tart with some raspberries on top. And a then cheesecake we, tart. Cheesecake tart, yeah, yeah. And then we stopped off here at Next Door, a couple doors down at the Mexican, Mexican restaurant, restaurant to get some margaritas. Yeah, you know, when I have a margarita after dinner and dessert. <laughs> now, this was one of my favorite activities the resort did. Now, every night they had several shows and activities, but this was the silent party. And this was... Everyone got a pair of headphones, and there were three different stations, red, blue, and green, and every station was playing a different song. But it was so cool to see everybody kind of seeing what songs were playing, and then when you found a song that you loved, there was, you know, you could see the excitement in people's faces. It was just a really good time. Yeah, it was really fun. And then, believe it or not, even after that night, we actually made it down to the beach to see the sun come up that morning. Yeah, this was the, actually the only morning that we actually had any kind of cloud coverage, so this is, it was unfortunate we got picked this morning to get up and watch the sunrise, but it was still beautiful, and again, the weather here in Playa Mujeres, our entire trip, was awesome. There was sun every day, there was no clouds, no rain, again, some clouds that morning, but that was it. This is the Lobster House, this is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and let me tell you, this is an awesome place in the resort. Yeah, it really was. I mean, I couldn't, I wish I would have came here more. Yes. I mean, the breakfast, that was the chorizo burrito that you had. That was fantastic. I had the, um, this was, I don't even remember honestly what this was, but it was basically like a poached egg over like a tostada with some delicious like yeah. cheese and sauce. And honestly, that was the this you can chorizo see how burrito much was you really are, good. Yeah, but this thing that John got right here, we actually ended up getting two of because it was so good. And it was a combination of the textures of the crunchy tostada and the and the creamy egg. It was just delicious. Yeah, it was really, really cool. And that was good. And I just realized I was wearing the same shirt that I was wearing uh, when we're making this video. So it's a little, uh, <laughs> this little tribute. This is the Excellence Concierge Club. This is one of the exclusive Excellence Concierge pools. So the Excellence Club comes with a couple private beach and pool areas um, that only Excellence Club members members can access and they have a pool table this is over where they have that large stage where they do a lot of the performances at night they have these really neat uh, traditional tri like their tribal headpieces that are on the wall next to the auditorium here so this is their little auditorium where every night they do some kind of show whether they have a live band one night they had like a freddie mercury impersonator they had a michael jackson show and people just come here and sit with their drinks and have a good time yeah, it really is a fun space. There are these birds these right birds here in the so center. Yeah, it was really, really neat. And then just wandering around the area, they have these little cute little pavilions back here we can little private spaces yes another great thing about the excellent resort was all of the great little nooks that they had that you could sit in they had those little cabanas they had uh day beds you could grab that you don't even need a reservation for you can just get up and grab them yeah absolutely and this was some of them right here on the excellence beach club that we and this uh, is part of what you said it. at the excellence beach club you have actually reserved cabanas just for you so there's always a space for you to enjoy yep drink service on the beach i had a mimosa with pineapple juice and john had a tamarind margarita and again look at that white sand on the beach again five out of five this resort i mean honestly every experience look at the sand look at the water look at the sun this excellence resort is just that it's excellent i mean again five out of five this is los olas this is the little um lunch spot that's on the beach this does lunch uh and you can there's a bar in here as well but it's a little bit of a combination of a buffet and a sit down and they have things like tacos and guacamole this day they had a jerk chicken special and they had some different jerk foods these are the pastor tacos and I had to try the classic hot dog as <laughs> yeah. well and it's neat because you sit right on the beach and you can people watch while you're eating and then they had fresh ice cream this right afterwards resort, by the pool. honestly had everything yeah, bringing really around did. ice cream carts during the day this is when we were sitting up in the lobster house just for a quick lunchtime snack. We got some drinks and some guacamole. And this restaurant is the one that sits over the pool bar. So you're sitting on top of the pool. People are swimming under you. It's just a really great time. And this was Magna Club Restaurant. So this was the Excellence Club Restaurant if you were part of the Excellence Club or had an Excellence Club room. And this is their fine dining uh, establishment is what it's considered. And this was so. our last meal there. This was our last night at the resort, so we decided to check it out. I had gotten the duck pate here, which was a phenomenal appetizer. We also got some octopus egg rolls. And I am going to relive the moment right now. That was phenomenal, that duck really, pate. Really, yeah, really, <laughs> really, really good. 
We also had some creamy risotto with shrimp. It was delicious. Uh, this was another course that we had, but for our main course for dinner, I had the braised short rib, which was fall off the bone. John originally got the New York strip, which you see here, but we, to be honest, did send it back. Yeah, as I, not super fussy, but it was a little more fatty than what I was expecting. Uh, we sent it back, but the second one that came out was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. The dessert that followed up to was really, really good as well. Then we checked out the little gift shop and just had some fun. They had some sombreros down there, as you saw, some of the Nacho Libre uh, wrestling masks, some caps, and uh, I actually had thought about maybe joining the wrestling <laughs> circuit while we were down there. So, you know, if you don't see me in another video, you know where I'm at. And the next morning was a very easy uh, ride to the airport. Thanks to, again, Seasons Transfers. We just picked up the car in the lobby as we were checking out with the uh, concierge and took our ride to the airport. Left early, uh, back to Tampa, and uh, again, really great trip. Thank you, Excellence. I hope that y'all enjoyed this review as much as we enjoyed making this review for you and having, <laughs> this, great, having this great experience. Yeah, again, if you're going to go to Cancun and you're going to go to an all-inclusive, yeah. get out of that hotel zone that people usually go to. Check out Playa Mujeres. Yep. Check out the Excellence Playa Mujeres Resort. Again, five-star all the way. Couldn't ask for a better experience. We're definitely going to go back, so definitely. you know we can dig it. Yeah, we can dig it for sure. And to... Ryan's point, the only thing that we did have a little inconsistency on that we thought in the reviews was the food that we talked about. Yeah, and that was what the review right. said. But, I mean, you know, but again, there was some great food. It was hit or miss. When it hit, it Yeah, hit, it, hit, it was really, really but good. Honestly, yeah. everything else, again, the room, the view, yeah. the service, the drinks, the entertainment, the activities at night, the right. beach, the sand <laughs> on the beach. I mean, everything else was literally five out of five all the way. Food, I'd give... Three and a half out of five. But right. everything else. And if you just drink enough, the, the food will be exactly, five out of five. Exactly. But I'm not going for, you know, a Gordon Ramsay filet. I'm right. just going for an overall good time. And overall good time, that it was. Yes, we definitely, we can dig it. So we can dig it. Check it out. And if you can dig us, please hit like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Thanks.